I travel the world and I'm like kind of a crazy, you know, piratey type energy. But a guy could be an, a, a, you know, an accountant with two kids grow, and, and loves gardening. As long as he has the spirit in him, that has that spirit of that stallion in him still. This un, uncompromising, uh, he's, he's chosen mindfully his career, the things he wants in his life. He has a mindful way of moving through the earth. He's, there, there's a, so he can look like anything. But he has internally inside him that, you know, this is my wife and this is my kids and this is who I am and I've chosen my, my, my future and I'm doing my best and things don't work out all the time, but I'm doing my best to, you know. So as long as he's got that spirit, because then he isn't just another guy who's going, going you know, through routine, routine, routine until you get cancer and die. I guess, I guess the question I, I'm curious about, and I think this is where the guys are at, is I, I, they get it, they get the idea. But yeah. Well, what does that guy look like day to day? Let's say he is an accountant. What does it look like to be that guy? How do I, how, do I, yeah, yeah, yeah. what does that feel like, you know, and that's a, uh, because I, you know, guys. Well, I'll are, tell you we, this. We need, we need yeah. guy, a lot of guys need, like, what, what's an action step I can do to start becoming that guy? Or how can I bring it home a little bit? I'll say this, Brian. And it's very strong. And every guy's going to go like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And very few will ever heed it. Yeah. Very few will ever, ever step up. And that is this. You know, we've, we've all got self-help books sitting on our shelf. I got the answer right there. I paid for it. It's right there. Um, we're all learning things like affirmations and this kind of stuff. But the truth is, for your listeners, if you really want the transformation in your life, you really want change that you say you do, it's going to take everything you've got and more. So my, my, so, so if our lives do not look the way we want them to look, it's going to take everything we've got and more. It's going to take complete, everything you've got. I, I, you know, my phrase is this, every great life has had in it a great renunciation. There's no other way. Small steps, reading another self-help book, putting another Facebook status that's, that is a little uplifting quote, it's not enough anymore. You have to make big steps, you have to fundamentally. So by renunciation, you mean renunciating your old life, renunciating the bad thing, behaviors. Renunciating, renunciating the friends that keep you small. The, 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 the behaviors that keep you small, the career that you, you did because your parents wanted you to do it and it gives you money and, and it's stable and secure, but it isn't your heart. Yeah. The, the Persian poet, you know, 2,000 years ago said, before you go to your day, before you go to your work, uh, take your musical instrument off the wall and play it for a few minutes. And if your work doesn't have the same music in it, stop doing it. Yeah. And that's the truth. It's, it's strong. It, Strong measures are, are needed. Yeah, my, uh, my big one, steps are made. One of my uh, mentors, business mentors, he says uh, he calls it the curse of the middle class that people value comfort so much and security so much that yeah. they're 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 willing to sacrifice all their dreams and passion because to have their dreams and yeah. passion means giving up that security, giving up that comfort. And there's the renunciation yeah. right there. I, I got to be willing to lose everything to have everything. Security is a kind of death. You know? And I, I see your lifestyle, you know, yeah. the way you travel the world, the freedom you have, the yeah, which yeah. most men would kill for. Yeah. But most men won't. They kill for on one hand, but they wouldn't go out and it's like, but I have to give up yeah. all my, my, my good job that I'm sitting in a comfort, yeah. where I'm bored to tears. Oh my God, I can't do that. Yeah. And uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a strong call. Yeah. Like what you're doing, what I'm doing, it really is a call to us, is a call to leadership. And by that I mean the leadership of our, ourselves again. Yeah, well, that's beautifully said. Right? It's a call yeah. to leadership. It, and that's why a, a lot of guys will listen and take notes. But to actually, it's, it's scary. It's really scary to step out of your comfort zone. You know, everything we desire is outside of our comfort zone. Otherwise, we already have it. Yeah. Right? So everything we desire is outside of our comfort zone. And it's a scary thing to do. But you've got to scare yourself and go, you've got to do it. So there's a whole thing with, uh, and, and I, I say this all the time, and I want to see if you, you see, if you resonate with this. They're the guys that give what they want in life have learned to love the unknown and yeah. love being uncomfortable. Yes. And, uh, and would you say that's true in your life? Yeah, sitting in mystery and not sitting in answers. 
93%. Some people look at the statistics like, like I used to years ago and we think that can't be possible, 93%. And I promise you, as I've learned more and more, it is. I spent four years with one teacher, a great teacher. Oh, I shouldn't eat that garlic today and I don't feel fresh down there. And, they're, they're, and, and I hope he doesn't come too close, he's really cute. So they go, yes, no, mm -hmm, uh -huh. and, we, and we think we're not engaging them on an emotional level. We're not funny enough. So, so the nervousness is not bad. 